In this video, I'll break down how to really elevate your Instagram Reel editing in Final Cut Pro using two of my brand new preset packs, the Instagram Starter Pack and the Camera Shake Preset Pack, and both are for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. So in this video, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of really cool presets that you can use to really make your Instagram Reels look a lot more professional. Now, once you purchase the pack, it should just send you a download link, and that download link should just be a zip file. All you have to do is simply unzip the file, and it should just have a folder. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to uh, go, then click on home, go over to movies, so double click on movies, go to motion templates folder, and then find your titles folder, and then all you want to do is just drag them both into your titles folder. So if I open it up right here, as you can see, camera shakes and IG starter pack. Both of them are just title plugins. So again, put them in your titles folder in your motion template folder. So here is the sequence that I'll be recreating. As you can see, it has these really cool like zoom effects, this really cool text animation, and also you can create these really cool like Polaroid um, effects, as well as this really cool like camera shake effect right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just delete all these presets and basically just show you how to actually apply them um, to your clip and how to actually go about customizing them. So simply just delete them all as you see they're just title um, uh, plugins and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start from scratch and I'll kind of just give you a basic overview now this whole effect right here with a subject the text is behind the subject I have a whole video showing how to do this so if you want to learn how to do that there's a video on my channel so what we're gonna do is gonna go to the beginning so let's say right here we want this to just zoom out so what you want to do is head over here to titles and generators and as you can see, we have the IG starter pack. So click on it right here. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of really cool um, title animations. So let's say we want to scroll through. We want to figure out which one we want to um, use. As you can see, you have adjustment layers, camera zooms, quick zooms. You have a whole bunch of really cool effects. So in this case, we're going to go to the camera zoom. I want to go ahead and just place it over here and place it basically just where we want the animation to happen. Now, these titles are built so you can go ahead and uh, stretch them out. Out, so make them longer or make them shorter. They're built specifically so you can do that. So you don't have to worry about keeping them the same duration. It's not going to mess up uh, the animation. So here is the zoom animation. Now basically how I built all these animations is the animation is usually happening for one second at the beginning or one second at the end. So you can go ahead and trim it. And again, it's not really going to mess up the animation. So let's say we want it to happen right here. So basically for the camera zoom, it starts out zooming out, then zooms in. So let's say for this section, we want to go ahead and just simply trim um, this title. So go ahead and just click the uh, trim tool. And now as you can see, it's basically gonna start zooming out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select on this title and head over here to this icon. And what we wanna do is we wanna uncheck build out because we don't want it to zoom in, we just want to zoom out. So simply uncheck build out. Now the animation is just gonna like zoom out. So we go ahead and play the video, wait for it to render. So if we play the beginning, as you can see, see now it kind of just zooms out. And there you go. So just literally as simple as that. Now as you see, it was, again, it zooms out. Let's say now we want to zoom in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to apply the quick zoom. So place it over here and just place it on top and just make sure it lines up. And again, you can make it longer or shorter. If you want, it's not really gonna mess up the animation. So if we play the video right here, as you can see, you have a nice zoom out. Then it just zooms in, and now it, the camera just zooms out, and there you go. Really cool. That is almost impossible to do in Final Cut because Final Cut does not give you the ability to easy ease keyframes. So that's why I, I built um, this entire plugin. Now let's say you want to add like a really cool uh, title animation. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So text flicker, sliding up text, slide up. Now what I found is any of these like text animations, text splits, a uh, sliding up text, it really doesn't work well underneath the zoom effect. So if you're gonna add zooms uh, to your Instagram Reels, don't add any of like the, the text animations because there's so much motion blur. Final Cut just has a very hard time rendering both. However, you can use the text flicker effect. So if we apply the text flicker, let's go ahead and just drag it over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and let's just trim the, anim the title animation to you know however long you want. And now you have this really cool like text uh, flicker effect. So if we go ahead and just select on this text. We can go ahead and let's just, in this example, 
I have it, I had it say setup. So we're gonna go ahead and just type up a setup. And now we can go through and adjust a whole bunch of different settings. So we can adjust stuff like the font. Let's go to flat brush. That's probably my favorite um, style. We can go ahead and change the color to kind of like a yellow um, color. Now we can go through and adjust a whole bunch of settings. We can also apply, change the glow to have kind of like a yellow um, glow. Now we can also increase uh, the size and kind of get it to this, uh, the position that we want. So let's just simply increase the size of this right here. Now we can go through and mess with stuff like the position, the scale. So let's drag it down something like this. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna, we can change the um, actual flicker effect. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just type in 800 because I just think that looks the best. But as you see, all these title animations are super customizable. So if we play it right here, let's see how this looks. A nice zoom out, zoom in. And as you can see, this really cool like text flicker effect. So there you go. Really easy, really simple. And the same thing, but go ahead and apply one of these like sliding up text animations. It has these really cool like animations. Now again, any kind of like text in any kind of like text animation underneath uh, like a zoom for some reason final cut has a very hard time rendering it because it's a lot of motion blur and any anytime anything to do with motion blur it's really intensive on your computer it will still work but the playback is just not going to be as good so we go through as you see now you have this really cool like sliding up text and there you go see this really cool uh, text animation i have a whole bunch of other ones and there those are a whole bunch of text animations and those really cool like camera zooms now i want to go ahead and show you how to use these really cool like um animation presets because Final Cut has you obviously you can keyframe stuff in Final Cut but the keyframing is atrocious you don't have the ability to easy ease stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we find the Polaroid frame and we're going to apply the Polaroid frame on top of this photo so you can see we have this photo right here so I go ahead and just disable the Polaroid uh, frame you'll see you just have a photo now this is really important you want to make sure that the Polaroid frame the photo as you can see if I select this photo it's five seconds and a uh, and a zero one frames that five a point zero one is really important if it's if the duration is not as long as that or you use the duration to three or four seconds it's not going to work this is really important for the animation so what we're going to do is we're going to select on this um, polaroid click on the drop zone and then select the photo below it and then click apply clip so there we go now you have the photo applied to the polaroid now we can uh, add text if we want or we can just simply delete the text and now you can go through and adjust a whole bunch of stuff like the scale um, the rotation so you can go through and just mess with everything until you get the look that you want so once you finally have the Polaroid frame in the position that you want select on it click on option G and then um, Polaroid um, go ahead and just type in um, Polaroid so po, um, po, uh, Polaroid uh, frame I think that's how you spell it so Polaroid frame uh, and then go ahead and click on um, OK. So basically what you're doing is you're just trying to create a compound clip. You're trying to group them all together because now we're going to apply this onto one of these um, animations. So let's say, for example, we, so you have scale in, you have pop in with flash, slide down. So let's say pop in with flash. So go ahead and simply drag this onto uh, your timeline. Now again, see it says 5 point zero one that's really important you want to make sure all the the, the uh, polaroid the photo the animation they all have the same duration or else the animation is going to get completely messed up so we're gonna go ahead and select on this select on the drop zone now click on the polaroid frame and then click apply clip and now you can have this really cool um, animation where it kind of scales in and then has this really cool flash effect and now as you can see you can go through and adjust the scale the position of the polaroid to get it to the look you want and you want to be careful sometimes adjusting the scale and position to a to certain like uh, settings can sometimes mess it up so sometimes if you see like maybe the animation's already like is peeking through a little before it actually animates just go through and readjust like the scale or position that can happen sometimes so if we play the clip right here now as you can see it just kind of like scales in and there you go there you go now you have this really cool uh, effect so there you go just as simple as that you have this really cool um, animation so again you, you, you have the scale in you have the slide in slide left you could do with videos or photos the reason this is so cool is as you, as you can see with the animation instead of just like slowly scaling up it has this really cool like twitch effect and that is just not possible to do that kind of keyframing animation 
natively in Final Cut. Now the next animation preset pack that I want to show you is the camera shake preset pack. So as you can see, you have a total of 20 camera shakes. So let me just show you how to actually go about using these really cool presets. So what you want to do is you see you have um, you know, this footage of me right here and now you have a b-roll of my desk. All you simply want to do is you want to take the camera shake and you want to place the first maybe two to three frames on top of the first clip and then the rest on the other clip. So you want to make sure a couple, a couple, the, the kind of like the first couple frames of the adjustment layer are kind of overlapping on the on the uh, first clip. So we go ahead and play it right here. And there you go, you have this really cool camera shake effect. Now if I go through and play, as you can see, it does show a little bit of the black bars. So not all of these animations are going to work with vertical videos. What I found is shake 17, 18, 19, and 20, and even 16 work a little bit. You can still see the black like lines, but you see it's going by so fast, no one's ever going to notice. Now you may see your, you may say to yourself, well then what about the other you know 15 um, camera shakes? If I can't use it for vertical videos, what can I use it for? Well, for horizontal videos. So as you can see, the last like four or five do work with vertical videos. They're not perfect. I found it really difficult to create these four vertical videos, but again, you can still use them and they and, and they still look perfectly fine. But if I head over here to a horizontal video, so let's do this one right here, and I apply one of the camera shakes, and let's say let's do like shake 12, and go ahead. All you want to do is just simply place it on top of your clip. It already has everything already already has like the mirrored edges, already has motion blur. It's completely pre-animated. It's just a drag and drop preset. Now if I go ahead and actually apply this again onto a horizontal video all 20 of them are going to work with horizontals but again only a couple of them are going to work for vertical i just found it very difficult again to create them for verticals the vertical videos they just had the plugins had a lot of problems so i just stuck with creating them for horizontal videos so wait for this to completely render it's going to take a little to, while to render because there's already motion blur um, applied to the preset so it's almost completely done rendering and now i'm going to show you these really cool presets so if i go ahead and play the video right here now you have as you can see this really cool like camera shake uh, effect and there you go and that's pretty much what all what they all look like now you can also select on them and you can actually disable the flash if you don't want the flash so that's completely a personal preference but there you go those are some really cool camera shake uh presets anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you enjoy watching these types of videos make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to purchase the instagram starter pack and the camera shake preset pack they're both for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com see you in the next one peace